Hello and welcome friends. Uh, what is up? Uh, happy, oops, I have sound going multiple times. There we go. Um, what is up, people? Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, welcome to New Year's Eve, Eve. I hope you are all having an excellent Eve of New Year's Eve. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that counts as a holiday. Uh, I'm going to count it as a holiday anyway. Um, so yeah, welcome all. We're going to jump back in today. Um, setting up my chat. Let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, what is up? Uh, uh, what is up all? Uh, thank you for the hype, Maizai. Welcome, Fistikov. Welcome, Parker. Welcome, Saint and Tai. Welcome, Hermits. Uh, got pizza and a bottle of wine. Heck yeah. What kind of wine are you drinking? What kind of uh, No Man's Sky wine are you drinking? Not that there's specific wine that you should drink while you're playing No Man's Sky, but, uh, you know, doesn't hurt. Uh, let me know how my levels are so I actually finally today have mounted, mounted, mounted my monitors, mounted my mountators. Um, and so I had to move all of my equipment around. Uh, everything is a little different and I'm not used to it yet. So <laughs> hopefully I didn't uh, change any volume settings or anything crazy. I'm not totally sure. I'll probably play around still with my video. You all know. Um, Whenever I change my camera, <laughs> change its position, I like tend to mess with it during stream because I look over and I don't like how it's going. Um, ooh, a Kabsov. I am not mad at that, Hermits. I love red wine. I love even, you know, it can be like the hottest day, month of summer. Everybody wants to drink a white wine. And all I want <laughs> is to get a red wine. <laughs> You can drink in No Man's Sky, but not right before piloting the ship. Yes, yes, no drinking and piloting. Uh, ooh, my side got your booster today. That's awesome. Uh, you feeling it yet? I felt that one. My initial shots weren't too bad, but my booster shots were really not ideal. Really not ideal. Um, so I hope you feel better. Hope you're feeling okay. Maybe, maybe watching stream can kind of lull you into uh, a restful sleep of recovery from your booster <laughs> but uh congrats on getting that all right all right all right all right Ooh, an object of interest how come everyone wants to trade with me and nobody used to want to trade with me oh is it because my standing is better is that why yeah i'll get this it seems like increasing my standing actually does a lot of like very good stuff. So let's see. Can I sell any of this stuff? I don't really need to sell anything at this point. Uh, I don't need that. That'll that'll almost pay for the Gek Relic I just bought. Um, all right, there we go. Hey, Shark, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Potential assistance. We're going for it. <laughs> we are going to find out who's going to help me out. I find out tomorrow if the booster was worse than the other shot. Yeah, it was definitely the next day for me. I woke up and was like, oh, no. <laughs> but it was only like a day. It was like less than one day that I was down for with the booster. It was like a really bad, like, eight to ten hours. Um... But I know people that had worse reactions. And I know people that haven't had too bad of a reaction to the booster. I actually don't know anybody that had zero reaction. So I go as fast as possible. <laughs> right at the surface of this planet. That's like a trust fall. A trust planet fall. The Gek are very cute. I don't know if that's insulting to tell them. I don't know if they want to be called cute, but I think they're very cute. Let's see. Yes, tell me. <laughs> One of the things was resisting the gas. Try to resist smelling their gas, but the odor permeates my exosuit vents, even my life support systems. I'm filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things. <laughs> a 
Okay, fine. I made him mad. Wait, did the Gek, um... Is that what they're doing with their, like, scent? They're inducing me to buy things? Spaces are designed to accommodate the species wearing it, so if you have no mouth, no problem. There's a suit for that. Yeah, they, uh... <sighs> I think, I like to think that too, Parker. That's that's canon now. Took the booster and the flu shot at the same time a week ago. Oh no, hermits. I should have done that. I didn't do it. Um, but now you're like mega powerful. Now you're like the truest form of hermits. Um, let's see, your data appeared to be fabricated or possibly corrupted. Could you have made a mistake? I'm gonna make him so mad. <laughs> Give me a low rating on the Trade Federation database. Oh no. Only got two two stars from this gek. Okay. Now now to go tell Artemis that uh, he doesn't seem to exist. The gek know they're cute is clearly part of their plan to conquer the universe. Yeah, I kind of think it is too. I'm I'm inclined to. They they don't go around like acting like they're super tough. They're just like, oh, we're just the gek by something. Whereas you know, they're actually probably plotting to overthrow us all and succeeding. All right, to the stars. Slightly nauseous, but totally manageable and have arm pain near the injection site. It's a stronger reaction than the first shots when I had almost no reaction. Um, you know, I will say the one thing that surprised me is the injection site pain. When people were complaining about it, I'm like, what, like your arm hurts a little bit? That doesn't seem like a big deal. And like, it was no joke. Like I couldn't sleep on that side. It was sore for, that was actually sore for a couple days. I was shocked. Let's see, there you are. Found high ground. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Well, Buddy, you're in some non-existent stars. Got the flu shot one month ago, zero reaction. Ooh, that is nice. Usually flu shots I don't think are too bad. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. It's quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. Sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. As A sound as if glass could scream. Woof. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hey, Fadoodling, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, nigh, un nigh unkillable for this oncoming, uh, you know, oncoming January, people get sick in January. We don't want that. Minor reaction to the first tube of the booster laid me out for days. Yes, that was very intense. The booster can be, the booster can be unkind, <laughs> but ultimately worth it. Okay, let's see. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind. I don't know if the voice was real. Oh, the glyphs, it's all, it's all connecting. Pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I can see their faces. There are seeds of glass within there. I wanted to discover worlds and find other travelers. 16. I have one, I have one glyph so far. Apollo. Ooh. Is that someone I can call now? Like, do I have? All right, now we gotta go back to Anomaly. And uh, actually, let me see, what else was I doing right now? Um, reach the black hole. Locate a hollow terminus. From Apollo and bring news to Nada. Okay, cool, cool. Not a problem. Um, okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know what motivated me to say that. Um, okay, let's go to... I guess we should go to... I kind of still want to go to that black hole, but I feel like I'm just really kind of 
Um, riding out this quest line now. Made me schedule an appointment for my booster on January 2nd. Ooh, that's a ways off. So you got JJ and Pfizer, just need the Moderna. And I'll reach my final form. Yes, Hermits will ascend uh, once that happens. Part of the game's normal means of interaction is conveying complex ideas through chemical signals. However, other species are not adapted to re receive all these signals on equal grounds. So some Gek have learned to utilize the skill as low-grade mind control. That's so good. I think I didn't realize when I started playing this game. I just thought it looked cool, like... This is like some hard sci-fi in here that I did not expect going in, but I'm very much enjoying. Like that is, that's a very, very good concept. And that they then use it to just kind of like try to get me to buy stuff. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at that. See, they use, uh, they use their cuteness. Um, let's see. Black holes are fun stream content. Yeah, okay, I'll do that after I talk to Nada. I was I was thinking, I kinda Oh, that was a weird load-in. Um kinda wanna mix it up. But that that black hole plot line has been sitting there for a long time anyway. Actually this is perfect, so I'll probably ask for new black hole coordinates, because I think the last ones I asked for might be kinda far now. <laughs> I don't even know what's gonna be in the black hole. It sounds it sounds scary, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Not sure what I can give this person, but I do like their catfish head a lot. Oh no, thank you. I'm gonna assume whenever somebody invites me, I assume it's by mistake. Cause that's the only time I've ever invited someone I don't know to play with me. It's always like, uh, does anyone know what this dude's deal is? Like, what what do I give him? I've tried giving him a couple things, but he always eats them and says they're not good enough. And I don't know how to please him. Pneumatic wolf, a question. How far are you from the center of the galaxy right meow? Um, I am, I don't know. I'd have to look at the map. I actually don't remember. Oh, I'm not giving up any storm crystals. I am not giving up any storm crystals. I feed him food and he gives me stuff like nanites. Oh, because it's I, I haven't actually given him food. I've given him, like, here's some condensed carbon and then he eats it. <laughs> but I guess that's not what he wants. Oh my gosh, no. I don't want to play with you. No offense, I'm sure. A perfectly lovely individual. Um, or maybe not, because now I seem to be... Ah, oh, shoot. I'm, like, frozen in this interaction now. Remember the first time I started playing for, for this, like, uh, uh, round of No Man's Sky and the game just froze on me? Ooh, just bad. This is completely frozen. I actually can't even, uh... I can't even get to the main menu. I can't even get to the escape menu. So we're going to do this real quick. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to just have to control alt delete out of this. Well, that's super annoying. OK. It's like a poodle picky eater. Yeah, that's a random person. I have no idea who that is. It looks like a combination catfish and axolotl. Oh, that's actually exactly what it looks like. I, I wasn't thinking about the axolotl uh, um, look to it, but yeah, that is definitely part of the vibe and probably part of why I like it. I like those animals. <laughs> nice soft lock game. I uh, used the tree head. I mean, I just spawned into life with this pyramid head and I never changed it. Wasn't the first No Man's Sky scream after you dropped Octopath, so you'd have something to play while waiting for Legend of Mana. Oh yeah, it was, it was. That was an in-between game, and then I ended up not finishing Legend of Mana. Yeah, No Man's Frozen cutscene, indeed. Welcome. Welcome, any user. Um, some people were forced into that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I haven't found any planets I would want to settle on, personally, so. Well, now we can see I'm 15 hours, 15 hours into this. Which I feel like is baby time for No Man's Sky. That's that's nothing for this game. I feel like everyone's like, I've played for 2,000 hours and I don't know what's going on still. 
Avoid other players, I suggest turning off multiplayer. Well, it's usually not an issue. This one person just really, really wants to be on the sweater stream or something. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know what happened with those frames there. Discover the perfect planet on the perfect solar system yourself. There's a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, one day. I look forward to that golden future one day. Just like every planet I find is uh, not what I would call habitable. It's like either the weather is trying to kill me or there is uh, something else trying to kill me. Like sentinels. All right, Nada. Sweater stream is a great stream. Well, thank you, Maizai. Beautiful planet with bottles of Coca-Cola pouring soda everywhere. <laughs> uh, I sent Raziel. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, I found a portal. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are small, stable and small. Not as worry traveler cracks between iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis ent entity still does not remember Nada. Sorry, friend. Trap or tragedy? Apollo entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas falsity. Other Corvex say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas false entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out and draw them away. Okay, it's really telling me to go to that, uh, that black hole, huh? That's really what it wants me to do. And that is what we will do! Let's see, usually in science fiction idyllic planets, alternate universes end up being dystopias when you scratch the surface. Not untrue. Your idea of, of, perfection, of perfection will shift. Oh man, this is getting pretty philosophical. No wolf sky in which Sweater Wolf tries to find the perfect planet but realizes that uh, perfection is an ever shifting goal, an ever moving target. <laughs> Welcome to my existential streams of 2022. Most of spaces unmapped at the center is fully taken. Oh, well, I guess I'll stay for away from the center then. Um, hey, I am good, Izent. I am good. How are you doing? I am happy to be here playing some No Man's Sky. I mean, it's been like 24 hours since I played this, so <laughs> clearly I had to jump back in. Um, have I been to this planet? It looks really cool. Um, I love the big planets. Big old boys. Big, big gassy boys. So the planets I'm in search of. Um, I actually really would like to have my, um, my paradise planet one day though. So you're around 600 light years from the center. Uh, let's see where I am. Uh, Navigational data received. Oh, well, I'm glad I still have those coordinates because I forgot to get new ones. Uh, let's see, black hole, Atlas station, current mission. How do I see, I mean, I guess, is it just looking at the upper left uh, where I am in the galaxy? Oh, it tells me how far I are from, how far I are, how far I am from the core. Um, 7, 11, 100,000 light years away. 670. Actually, uh, Fadoodling, you were pretty close, though. You were pretty darn close. Uh, hey, Rai, welcome. Happy New Year's Eve. To, New Year's Eve Eve to you as well. Crisscross Applesauce, welcome back. Uh, thanks again for that raid last time, Crisscross. Uh, words are hard. <laughs> That is a consistent theme on this stream, is words are very hard. Uh, even if the center is fully claimed, every galaxy will never come close to being fully explored. And that's a beautiful thing. 
Usually lurking, love this game. Well, I am happy to have you lurking, talking, whatever you wanna do, however you wanna enjoy the sweater stream. A lot of people watch me while they're working because I do a lot of like daytime streams because I have kind of a, a, a weird schedule. Okay, let's go back to the ship. Um, which I, I actually find quite flattering when people <laughs> people tune in at work <laughs> at risk of being caught. Uh, although, you know, so many people do work at home now. Um, but when I can provide background entertainment <laughs> while people are working. 7-Eleven uh, is further than I've been. Oh, really? I think it's because when I was doing the Normandy quests, um, I ended up going pretty far out because, oh, because one of the things was to discover a new system. That was one of the goals I had to do. And so I ended up just trying to get really far away to find something. That's why I'm so far out. Words are hard, but sweaters are soft and fuzzy. <laughs> This can't all be a soft and fuzzy stream. That's a great point. We have to have challenges. Like saying words. Um, okay. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna check on that expedition I started yesterday. Oh, thank you, Rai. I appreciate that. It is a wholesome community. It's a wholesome stream and a wholesome community. <laughs> That's what we're about here. Hey, eight-headed boy. Yes, cooking, that's another good thing to do while watching stream. What are you cooking, eight-headed boy? Something good, I bet. Okay, let's see. Um, ambushed by pirates. Claimed bounty on pirates. If you actually read some of this stuff, it's like, uh, man, they've all had some wild adventures. Warp drive maintenance. Sweet. Well, that seems like it was pretty darn successful. Um, okay, I'm gonna build some more storage rooms, I think. I think it's just about time we get some more storage. So let's see what that will take. Um, like getting lost in my own corridors. Where do I wanna, I've, I've been kind of stacking the storage rooms next to one another, um, which I guess I can keep doing. I'm not like mad at that. Put all the storage, this is kind of my like refinery area so I can put all my storage there. Um, I stream during midnight and everyone is sleeping. <laughs> I put steak sauce on my Swiss cheese and ham sandwich. Not a good idea, I'm not happy about this. I'm trying to decide if that sounds good. That sounds almost, I get I get why you did that, but I also get why that was a bad idea. Um, uh, yes, even when the game, even when we're playing not very unwholesome games, uh, Yakuza was supposed to be a deviation from wholesome, but it ended up being the most wholesome game ever played on this stream. That is, that is very true. That is very true. Um, I thought Yakuza was gonna be a little too, uh, a little too intense for a sweater stream, but it ended up being like the best game ever because man, are those games surprisingly wholesome. Um, okay, magnetized ferrite, I think I have. Pretty sure I have some of that. So let's go ahead and grab that if we have it. I do wish, and this, you know, I get why most crafting games don't have this. I do wish you could use stuff that's in storage to craft. Um, but I get why you can. Some of them kind of cut the difference if you can use a chest that's like right next to you to craft. Um, ooh, I actually might not have that though. Magnetized ferrite. It sounded like something I would have, but now I am really not sure. Okay, let's see, exosuit. Oh, I guess I don't have that. Okay, well, I have a new goal for something I wanna get. I guess I gotta get some ferrite. That's probably step one. Let's see, uranium, you always gotta have uranium. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of 
this out of the starship. And let's see, we'll keep that. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. I don't know if I still need this quest item or not. I'll give this Gek Relic to someone. Um, okay, that seems pretty good to me. Uh, let's see. Tomb Raider games are free on Epic. Ooh, that's a great find, Fadoodling. That is a great find. People, go claim your Tomb Raider games. Uh, you can si you can delete the quarters you already have there and simplify the layout. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could get rid of the stuff that was already there. Okay, that is very good to know. Um, let's see. The universe is full of dangers that includes more than the enemies in the game, including resets. Hey, Jenny, what is up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Jenny. Welcome back to stream. Uh, put two hours into designing my freighter and it junked my interior. I mean, this started out with a very, like, practical kind of, I need storage, but it's turned into so much more. Um, okay, I'm going to go to that black hole. Is there anything I need to know before I go to the black hole? It seems... A little precarious. Um, I'm gonna start a new freighter expedition, actually. Frigate, frigate. That's what it is. Talk to the navigator. Hey, Telesaurus Rex, welcome. Welcome to chat. Thank you for tuning in. Um, let's see. Exosuit expansion slots. I have, um, I have a number of them, but I need more, always. <laughs> um, okay, sounds good. I, I think I, I think it's all gonna be good. Those are famous last words. Uh, they don't have any stealth or like reconnaissance missions, so maybe I'll just go on this balanced expedition. The Normandy is so cool. Okay. I guess I could be sending both of my ships out at once, but I feel like the Normandy's got this. The, the Normandy is a... Uh, pretty powerful for doing all this stuff. Okay, let's start going toward that black hole. How much fuel does Normandy use? Uh, I don't know, was that a lot? It's like, I made a bunch at one point, so I haven't been wanting for any. Focus on No Man's Sky now on, on finding a paradise planet. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. If I do multiplayer later in the stream, then yes, for sure, I will take those. I don't know if I'm going to do multiplayer tonight or not. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got to get to... I'm telling you, there's always something about this map that's like, uh... Okay, there we go, there we go. Forget paradise, settle the most uninhabitable, de an uninhabitable, desolate wasteland you can find. I mean, that's kind of already. That's an attainable dream for me, because every single freaking thing I find is, uh... Like, trying to kill me in some way. <laughs> it's always trying to kill me. Conflict level 3 systems. <laughs> totally figured out like the economy and stuff too like I know all the different economies do different things but I don't know what the deal is yet on that is this right is this the system I need to be in I'm just gonna look at the map and see I need to just set I think I'm in the right am I in the right place I need to just set that as my active quest. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, there we go. This is the one we're pinning. Um, 
so what's the, the black hole was in the system, right? Type of economy. So what's the best kind of economy or does it just depend on what I'm trying to do? Economy give chances. Oh, finding better stuff. Keep an eye for interesting features that look like they would be cool to build a base on. I mean, I have one base so far, and it is literally just the marker for the, the portal that I found and powered up so I don't lose track of where it is. Okay, three star is good. We want three star. But I noticed there was something where, like, the last one said it was scientific and promising. I feel like I would want something to be scientific and promising. A completely desolate moon. Just go there to think, man. Okay, so am I crazy for thinking there was a black hole in the system? Oh, oh yeah, it's this thing right here, I'm gonna say. Are you all sure about this? <laughs> Are you all sure I should be going toward this thing? That seems a little wild to me. Oh, 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 I'm like right in it, right on it. Okay, you're sure about this. You're sure about this. Stream content, okay. Okay, but Parker and Fadoodling and everyone, I'm blaming you. <laughs> I'm blaming you, or crediting you if it's good. See, it works both ways. Sure, we're sure. Right, that doesn't sound confident. <laughs> sure, are you sure you're sure? Sure. This is so realistic, it's like a real life black hole. Oh, is this a combat thing? you do that? Friend is something friend. Oh, cool. I guess we can go hang out. Remember that one time that I did this and like nobody, uh, they didn't invite me on board and I just went on board anyway. Whoops. Just gotta, I'm not sure where to get on. Okay, so it keeps like, it's like, man, you've really done a lot of starships. Really, really fought a bunch of people, but I haven't, sp except for that one mission that I had to take on to improve my Gex standing. I haven't, like, ever sought out combat. It's like, these skies are just aggro, man. Let's see. Always build on paradise plants. Have you ever want to learn to build like a pro? I'm the guy to teach you. Man, we need to go hang out on your stream. Uh, something to note about black holes, the location of their exit point can be anywhere in the galaxy, but it's not, but it is not randomly selected. Interesting. Um, let's see, it's a dreadnought freighter? I'm not sure what kind that is. Marvelous build. Yeah, any, t any tips indeed, crisscross. An interstitial base just to bring power from a hotspot to my actual base. <laughs> I know, it's like we need to attend. Let's all attend, uh, 
When, when does class start? When's your next class crisscross? Let's see. Uh, where am I? I don't know. This is just immediately what happened when I went into the black hole. <laughs> this is what this is what went down. I don't know what to tell you. Time for the freighter lottery. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. That's S class. I am not going to be able to afford it. This is a C class that I think is, um, yeah, is it has a lot more storage than mine has. But wait, I can't afford it, uh, so I don't know why I'm looking at it like uh, I could even consider that. Oh, did I just go straight through? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta... I, I'm not sure how I managed that then. Oh, wait. I want payment, though. I was reading chat once I loaded into the black hole, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm. this is what happens in the black hole. I'm just in a different place. Um, TX Evertonian. Welcome, 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 and thank you very much for that follow. I have so much chromatic metal. I'm not totally sure why I need as much as I do. Pay me, Gek. You could afford it, waiting for a freighter with at least a little more storage space. Yeah, I, I want a freighter that has so much. Oh, but wait, this is the problem with living on my freighter. It's like, I don't really want to trade it in because, uh, you know. It's my home, it's where I live. Let's see, any cool planets here? Um, okay, so how did I, what did I, what did I do with that black hole? Did I just like exit it by mistake somehow? I didn't think that was gonna be possible. How much closer did it put you? Um, Trade freighters, your base is transferred intact. I'm on the other side. Oh, it just it put me closer to what? To I guess the next mission objective. Where's the hollow terminus? Hey, somewhat of a person is now following. Let us see. Let us see. appreciate that, Jenny. I might, uh, if we do a Nexus mission. I actually do need to do some Nexus missions. I think that's one of the, it's like on my log somewhere. Sweet. Might even be the 600s. Let's see. I am now 705 light years away. Man, I am pretty far out here. That's cool. I'll get, I'll get back eventually, I'm sure. Eating the horrible 24-inch sandwich. That's too much sandwich. Actually, I'm gonna go, ooh, this looks really cool though. I don't think I've seen this kind of effect before. gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I want to, I just want to go. Yeah, this will be fine. This won't take too long. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes I, I, when I'm close to the planet, I'm like, I'll just fly to it. And then it is a huge mistake. 
Once you're in that atmosphere, you're in trouble. Oh, a rainbow. Another rainbow. How lovely. I do like that you can meet people on the anomaly, uh, regardless. <laughs> that is very convenient. <laughs> Because otherwise, man oh man, would it be hard to coordinate Nexus missions with people. Alright, so let's see. We are going to an extreme sentinel planet, okay. Uh oh. I know they get really mad if you take those things, so I'm not going to take those things. Except maybe on my way out. Maybe on my way out I'll take them. Just to cause trouble. Massive. Those are massive clouds, actually. Oh, hey, buddy. Whoa, look at this guy. Like a little tiny... Up on its hind legs. I've never seen one like that before. I only meet Russians and Germans. You know, two paradise planets. <laughs> Do you stream, Jenny? Jenny, you need to take us on a tour of paradise, and uh, then we'll go to building school. We're gonna we're gonna really up our game. This music, clouds used to be mad. Then mo modders made a cloud mod. Then Hello Games patched the clouds. I mean, those are big, beautiful clouds. I mean, this planet is honestly pretty chill. This is way chiller than, like, most planets I find. Um, except, wow, that is a horrifying sound that these things make. Oh, hello, friend. You make very scary noises, but you seem very chill. Give you a paradise planet. Your stream froze. Was it from Streamlabs freezing or was it from uh, like your, your internet connection? You only feed and explore wildlife. That's actually, you know, somewhat of a person. Uh, that's, that's probably my top distraction is I uh, end up just Feeding creatures, adopting creatures. I got it. I got a dancing bear last. I, that dancing bear I got last time. I think it's top quality, personally. On Twitch. Hmm. I mean, I've had my share of connection issues over the years. My internet's pretty bad, so <laughs> it might be worth trying again. Call those things fat necks. <laughs> Streamlabs was fine, game was fine, but Twitch froze. Ooh, that's weird. I actually haven't had I actually haven't had that happen. Man, sometimes there's just cool looking stuff in this game. You know? Just looks good, man. Okay. Speaking of getting distracted, uh wait, where am I going? This way. But I want to look at the cool planet rise. Planet set, planet rise. My excuses, I make bait with it. What is happening? Oh, oh, picking up. Picking up poop. I pick up the poop sometimes. I assume it's for farming, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Let's see. Let's tune to Apollo. Oh, hello. We haven't spoken yet. Hey, another, oh, another pyramid head, just like me. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> I 
gonna be vague about this. Vague. Uh, have some wisdom in that pyramid-shaped head of yours. None of us know what we are, none of us can. We do not live in a world of truth. You can tell Artemis I haven't changed my mind about meeting. I'll do it if I'm paid to do it. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Dude, you're the only other pyramid head I've ever met, and I thought you'd be nicer to me. Most of the cooking recipes contain fascium, fa fascium. Ew, really? That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, I'll start picking up poop whenever I, I'll start scooping up poop. I'm a dog owner. I know how that goes. Um, let's see, I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. They had attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Their last word was Apollo's name. Apollo's demeanor changes. Send me your data logs. Sure, this seems to be what I need to do in the story. <laughs> Ooh. They sound just like the Echo the Sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Yes, yes I have. <laughs> Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets, but this data is distorted and inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the Sentinels appear so quickly. And the portals, perhaps they're the key. Suggest life is worth more than money. I just keep making everyone mad with my dialogue choices. I know, he's being rude to me and he looks just like me. Yeah, no worries, Jenny, have fun. Um, Paulo's gonna wear the same outfit for New Year's, but it's gonna have 2022 at the top. <laughs> Sure. I'm just accepting literally anything that anyone asks me to do in this game. All right. Someone's going to supply me with stuff. Just remember to be polite. Yeah, what a lecture from you, dude. Oh. A ghost. Per <laughs> he seemed to sigh, but perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Not a real sigh. All right, cool. Well, I am first going to kind of poke around here. Is there anything else I can do with these towers once I'm done? Oh, no. Just review the conversation. White tiger. Look at Apollo trying to look buff with the white muscles. <laughs> he has a heart if you dig deep enough. I mean, he looks exactly like me. I didn't know there were other pyramid heads in this world. Later when you meet Null, he will have even cooler arms that we can't have. <laughs> oh, are those arms not accessible? Wow, I don't think I've ever been so careless to take fall damage. Gosh, the sentinel is staring me down, but I just want to I just want to scan. Oh, I've already scanned one of those. Okay, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I think I am gonna grab some of those glowy orbs, the ones that are like right by my ship so I can get in my ship and leave immediately. The first time I grabbed them and I had no idea. What is this? I don't know, but the, the Gek seemed to have liked it that I found that. And I learned a Gek wor word. I met a pyramid head <laughs> once in Dead by Daylight. It didn't end, wor end well. Yeah, you gotta have the cool head, you know? I thought we'd get along. You're a pyramid head. I'm a pyramid head. White tiger. The Gek should be in prison for war crimes. You know, we were talking a lot about the Gek earlier. White tiger. And whether they know they're cute. And if being cute is actually part of their master plan. I, th I think the general consensus was yes. Yes, it is. They do know. The light orb head. I didn't even, this is actually the head I got by default. This is, this whole character is the character I got by default. And I was like, I really don't need to change this actually. I, I don't think I can do better than this. It'd be difficult to imprison a population that's approximately a third of the population of the galaxy. Yeah, they do seem all evenly distributed. Wow, that's disappointing. I don't think I've ever opened something just to be like nothing found. All right, let's go. I've had enough of this.
bought Stellaris, so I might try it. Uh, I'm so tempted to try it. It's just... It seems, like, so difficult to get into. You know what I should do? I should stream it, because then people will come into chat that are experts and will be like, oh, all you need to do is this, this, and this. And I'll be like, of course. Um, I thought I just saw a knowledge stone. Did I just see a knowledge stone? Did I just, like, hallucinate that? Or, like, the beacon for one? Okay. Okay. Oh, I see it on my... let's see. Oh, yeah. Once I get... I just need, like, two more research... what do you call it? Blueprints. Um, and I'll be able to get the, the cool mech. And then I will only wander around in a mech for the rest of the game. Stellaris is good if you play solo or have a group that are willing to play at your speed. Oh my gosh. You know what? Whoops. Is, is this the Omni Blaster? Yes, that has the gun on it. Oh my god, there's so many already. Alright, you all know what my strategy is here. will never find me underground. Never! Never find me underground. Just dig a hole away from your problems. Ooh. Alright, soon they will forget while we hide in this hole. Mine ended up being on an extreme aggressive sentinel one. Is your base like in a cool or asphyxiating planet? No, my only the only base I have is in uh it's literally just a marker because it's next to a portal that I powered up and then I realized I needed glyphs. And that's the only base I've built in this entire game. <laughs> um let's see. Three dominant species in the galaxy. Digging a hole strategy. Yeah, I know. It's it's the it's the master plan. You just dig a hole and then they can't find you. Yeah, the ostrich strategy, exactly. Fight, flight, or dig a hole. Um yeah, I know, it is kinda homey, right? I could just set stuff up on here. Um the extreme sentinel planets are the coolest ones. I I I seem to only find very sentinel heavy planets. Uh, which is kind of annoying. I mean I guess I could just continue underground and forget about that knowledge stone. Why can I not mine through this material? There we go. I mean, they're still looking for me, so this might actually be the best strategy. Ooh, they're forgetting right now. Maybe I should just stand here for 10 seconds <laughs> so that they, they really forget about it. Yeah, I could put like a little lamp in here, like a little painting. Makes me think of Minecraft. Like, I feel like in Minecraft, I always loved when you're like, I have enough excess material to make a little painting and make it feel like home. And that's really all I need. Woohoo! Okay. It's kind of killing me. I, I was right under that knowledge stone and I didn't get it, but it's just, I don't want to, I don't want to go through multiple rounds of combat. Okay, I think I'm not, the strategy is not actually going to, be that effective because man oh man it's taking a long time so I think I'm gonna come where where are the sentinels I think they're behind me so let's just get out of this hole man I got deep huh all right and just in case they're there Oh, and it's a storm, of course. Well, maybe I'll find some storm crystals. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Get out, 
Maybe I can jetpack away fast enough. Whoa, that turtle was cool! Okay, I think the sentinels forgot. I see one over there. Forgetting is so easy. Forgetting is so easy. Whoa, look at that shadow of whatever that is moving. I'll see that. That was really cool. It's like one of those dragons in uh, Breath of the Wild. Such beauty. Such beauty. Man, this planet's so pretty. Why does it have to be full of sentinels? It's actually a really nice planet. Get stone and run back in whole strats. Yeah, that's that's basically my uh, my strategy. Building underground is nice until you leave and come back and all the ground respawn. Oh, does the ground respawn? I actually didn't know that. That is good. Now I know not to seriously ever try doing that. These pods are nice. This planet's nice. Why do all the... Why are all the sentinel planets the best planets? Suffocated because of the ground bug. Uh-oh. Someone else goes there, logs off, and it grows back. It hard crashes their game. Oh, no. Okay, that is good to know. Hey, headed boy, have you tried doing that as well? That seems like something you would do. Okay, let's go to the space station here in the system. At the very least, we gotta go to the space station. Um, let's see. The Arctic planet. I feel like there was some resource I needed. Oh, I know, it was magnetized ferrite. That's what I needed. Um, is it making me laugh that that planet is named Wazup? Yes, it is. Sometimes the things people name stuff is just very good. The terrain has a limit to how much complexity it can maintain, so it has to reset to the terrain generation default. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So here's a question. Should I be trying to get more toward the center of the galaxy? Like, is there a reason I would want to be in, more in the center? Or am I good just out in the, you know, Delta Quadrant or wherever I am? And a whole base with an underground section. Oh no, eight-headed boy. <laughs> That's a huge bummer. Now, see, now I, I previously had never thought about building underground, and now I'm very disappointed that we can't. Like, but I want to be a rabbit. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I need. Um, I actually think I just want a technology slot at this point. see what are these guys what are these floaty boys okay bye let's check the multi i kind of regret buying that one multi-tool because it has a lot of storage but it's like ooh, a b class you say oh maybe i can trade in that multi-tool that i mm. This one has way more storage and is B-class. But it doesn't have things that I need on it. Hmm. I would need a new terrain, ma terrain manipulator. And new modifications if I wanted to get it. Um, let's see. The main mission drives you there. Okay, okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, near the center, the stuff gets nicer. Oh, I thought the stuff would get nicer. I thought the stuff would get weirder the further away I went. That is good to know. Um, let's see. I pushed to the center once, but when I got on No Man's Sky, usually I'm trying to expand my character's company. The stats are worse. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, 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 like the actual stats on it. Okay. That makes sense. Whoa. That's a cool, 
That's a mighty nice looking ship you have there. I wonder if that's for sale. I don't know what kind of ship I want, actually. He has upgraded their current weapon. Oh, a better looking multi-tool from uh, Twitch Drops. I have not looked into that world. I probably don't need it. I'm probably just getting distracted, but oh, that's not the terminal. What is this? I never go into these little back areas because I don't know, even know what they have. I guess I can look through all the potted plants to get some carbon. It seems like kind of a weird thing to do, like just land on this space station and start going through everything. It's a weird energy to bring. They're exotic ships. Pick your ships and tools for how cool they look to you. That seems like a reasonable way to play this, and honestly, most games. Well, I mean, most games you have the conflict of uh, stats versus looks, right? Do you wear the armor that looks terrible but has incredible stats? Oh yeah, here, I have this relic. So all Gek will like me more everywhere. Let's see. Excellent. Look how cute they are. They're all so cute. Let's see. That means I agree. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, even mediocre tools can be decent after enough upgrading. I mean, I should maybe try and switch, try and upgrade that other multi-tool. That might be better. I wear the clown suit with the best stats. <laughs> My eyes running around. I am the most powerful clown ever. Uh, hey, Iron Monkey, what is up? Welcome, 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 friend. Uh, you posted the, oh, the multi-tool you got on Discord from Twitch Drops. See, I've never, I didn't know there were Twitch Drops for this game. I could be really up in the game here. Hmm. I feel like, hey, Iconoplasmo, welcome. Thank you very much for that follow, appreciate that. Welcome to the sweater pack. I feel like you like talking about trades. Oh no. Oh, they just give me, <laughs> they're like, don't tell anybody. Here, have some units. I feel kind of weird about taking that money. <laughs> It'll repeat again, so it's all good, okay. What's the point of even exploring the galaxy if you can't look absolutely fabulous while doing it? Parker, Parker is asking the important questions, I think. Uh, Degenerate, hey, welcome back, Degenerate. There's a good reason why you need to go to Galactic Center. You'll know more when you advance with the story. Okay, okay, so maybe I, I, won't, I won't keep trying to go to the edges like I've been doing, assuming it gets weird out here. I just wanna see weird stuff. That's like my main thing in this game is I wanna see the weird stuff and the best animals, the weird stuff and the best animals. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna learn so many words here. Wow, he looks cool. Okay, I need to learn an adjective. I'm like trying to figure out what words I have. I feel like I'm missing some adjectives. Okay, I've learned A. Oh, I already talked to this guy. Ship nice, my multi-tool nice, but me, I'm whack. You are not whack, fadoodling. Hey, have you forgotten 2022, my challenge? Like yourself, 2022. Shoot, I actually, I was like, have you all forgotten? I actually forgot what the phrasing of it was. It, of it was. Does anyone remember what I said the other day the 2022 thing was? Believe in yourself, 2022. It was something like that. And I stand by it. Fadoodling as a gag. Oh yeah, yeah, you actually are a gag in this game. Let's see. I would like to learn some words. Then maybe Apollo will talk to me more. Um, okay. Why did I come here? I need to sell some stuff. That's what I need to do, and I got distracted talking to the randos on the station. I'm really, I'm really getting in with the Gek. G I W T G. Gutik. Getting in with the Gek. 2021. What year is this going to be? 2022? 
<laughs> I wish I was joking. Okay, let's see. Um, ooh, it's weird how my character is facing the screen this time. Man, oh man, if I want dirt, these places all do have dirt. I'll say this about them. They have dirt. Uh... See, I just need a ton of this. I need ferrite. Maybe I can just buy regular ferrite and process it. Will the dust turn into regular ferrite? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hey, uh, hello. Welcome, and thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, I put... I'm, like, out of inventory space. But I want to see if this will let me do it. I guess I could also just not hoard everything I find, but... Like, what fun is that? That's no fun. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get some of these stuff. Let's get some of this stuff. Sure. Ferrite dust is regular ferrite. Okay, process it. Okay, that's what I need. <laughs> My love for these creatures. The Gek, another Gek fan. This is this is shaping out to be a very pro, uh, a very pro Gek stream in general. I mean, y'all know that I think they're cute, so that's why I keep talking to them. I think I, I didn't realize, I think, how many learn sh words you can learn per station. Okay, so whatever these words are, I don't know at all. What on earth? You, you okay? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Just seeing things that no being should see. An aggression symbol. Stupid. Um, in every game I was out of inventory space. Especially Stardew Valley. I'm always out of inventory space. Because I hoard everything. Let's see. Ferrite dust to pure ferrite to magnetized ferrite. All of which are your best friend. Thanks, Degenerate. That is, uh... The trader looks at me as if I'm some kind of fool, but I know the word for stupid now, so if they call me stupid, I don't think they're gonna help me. Oh, they are gonna help me. So, so, so far I, on this station, I know I've learned the words for A, stupid, and death. So I could say somebody had a stupid death at this point, which is really, I think, all you need in any language. It's freezing outside to become a walking blanket. I think, yeah, I mean, if it's if it's cold outside, all bets are off, then it's time to just, well, then it's time to not leave your house, preferably. Um, but if you have to. The Apostle of Jeopardy. Um, I don't need this, I guess. I guess I don't need this. I just like the way it looks. Oh, but my ship is actually better. Um... So never mind. I guess the thing about having the hauler, right, is it does probably have a little more inventory space than some of the other stuff in its class. How do I get a ton of money in this game? <laughs> I'm, re I'm realizing I think I just need a ton of money. Like, what are the things I should be farming or doing uh, to make that happen? I don't know why it keeps telling me. Whoops. There we go. Oh, that's just one system over. Yeah, we can, we can make that happen. What's a cool... Oh, that's the one I was looking at earlier. I don't know. The ice planets look cool. I'm into the ice planet. Crafting, you make billions. Okay, sounds good. What do, I, what do I start crafting? Like a good hauler. So, I like a good hauler. Solid hauler. Holla. Okay, whoop. I 
wish you could see other player ship names. <laughs> I wish I could too, actually. I feel like they'd be pretty funny. I feel like this game, for the most part, is, like, pretty... Like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't be too worried about seeing that in this game, because, like, people are pretty chill and not terrible. Uh, you know, I, I keep saying this, but I, I think this is, like, a very chill community, and I really like that about this game. Like, a game like Rust, I don't think Jay plays is in chat right now, but a game like Rust, uh... No offense to Rust players, but man, I do not need to know what people are talking about in chat, what people are naming things, like... I've never played it, to be fair, I've only, I've only watched, uh... other people play, but it seems like there's some stuff going down in the chat of that game all the time. Um, oh wait, my fleet isn't back yet. Uh, okay, let's just make that jump. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna go magnetize some ferrite first. Remembers Ice Planet 2022, perhaps the best LEGO space system of all time. Le LEGO space system set of all time. Are those the ones that are just like agnostic, like space parts? Uh, cause I had those. Merv, thank you very, very much for that follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the sweater chat. Um, let's see. Let us see, friends. Uh, what am I putting in here? Oh, I'm putting in the dust. The dust. Yes, the purest of the pure. I still just want, like, a nutrient thing. I just need to find a system where there's, like, a planet without sentinels, and then I can just go wild, I think, on, uh, on some of the stuff. All right, somewhat of a person. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you for the follow. Uh, have an excellent rest of your night. Frigate expeditions are pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, I've been doing those. I've been pretty good about... Oh, maybe I need a new... How much is that control room? Maybe I need another control room so I can always be doing two at the same time. Let's see. Save point, construction research. See, look, I have, like, very few things I can build at this point. Oh, can I not build another, uh... Oh, here's a question. So let's say I did get another freighter. What happens to, like, the freighter storage units that I've already built? Those don't transfer, right? But can I can I build them anew? Because I know there's, like, this limitation on how many I can build. Um, let's see. Oh, fleet command rooms is what I'm looking for. Oh, I can build another one of these right here. Uh, maybe, maybe I will, actually. I'm going to build another fleet command room. I'm going to not mess around with, like, changing the layout yet just because I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be a thing. If I start, like, moving around what is already here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really become a thing. Oh, that's too close. I can't do that. Well, now it's kind of, uh, why do you put this one here? Now it feels kind of wonky. I eventually I'll probably just want to move every single thing I have. Um, okay, cool. So now I can do another expedition from my command room, and then we're going to jump to that next system. All things, oh, all things you build in a freighter transfer <gasps> when you trade freighter. So even like the layout and everything. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better because I thought that was maybe the flaw in my, like, I'm just going to live on a spaceship as a nomadic space being plan. I thought I thought that was going to mess me up, but it looks like it's not going to mess me up. Uh, build your own ship part feels a lot like Subnautica. Yeah, yeah, it actually does. Total of 10 storage units numbered 0 to 9. Okay, cool. That sounds good. So let me grab my other drink here. Excuse me. I get so thirsty. I get so thirsty when I stream. Whoop. Just <laughs> cans. Oh, I love that table. I have, I have a table that's just like really jacked up. You may have seen for a second when I move my chair. Um, I try to keep it out of the frame, but I keep it because I do a number of things on it. For instance, I'll, I'll paint on it sometimes because it's like this table just has so much like stuff going on. Uh, I don't have to worry about keeping it nice. Sometimes it's, it's liberating to have an object um, that you're not worried about. 
You're like, this is like my beater version of this thing, right? Where you don't have to like be precious about it. You don't have to be like, I'm gonna mess this up somehow. Like you just got it, it's all good. My art and craft table. Yeah, for, for the most part, yeah, that is pretty much what I do. Just anything like messy uh, with paints or anything. The storage units are less boxes that you physically store things and more terminals that access that specific numbered inventory. I think I need to start thinking like that, Parker. Because I, I am still thinking about it like it's a chest, essentially, right? Um, but the fact that I can access it when I'm not in proximity to it, uh, you know, that sort of conceit makes a lot more sense. Um, okay, let's see if this is done. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to get my stuff out from it. Oh, wait, no, that is right. And then we put this right back in there. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a ton of it. Sweet. Art and craft table, yes. Uh, oh wait, I already answered that. Um, okay, so we are going to go down on the ship. I think I'm actually gonna wait until this is done. Um, before we do that, let's go, maybe we can go sell some stuff in the meantime. Uh, what is this thing? This, when, when did this happen? Oh shoot, that's when I went through can I repair it? Cadmium? What uh, What the heck is cadmium? I don't even have that. I don't even know what that is. Um, oh no, that makes me sad. I need to go find this element now. Uh, this is going to go to... Three, oops, nope, that's gonna go to the freighter. This is going to go to my exosuit. This is going to go to my inventory in my exosuit. Huh, I wonder how that happened. Okay. Um, actually, I have another slot now, too. I can put another jetpack thing in here. I hate splitting up all my jetpack stuff, but that's okay. Eventually, eventually it will all be on that other page, hopefully. Um, this is gonna go into the storage container, storage container, freighter. When did this get so damaged? Oh, it just needs recharging. <laughs> I was like, this needs recharging. Nope, I just have a big stack of wiring looms. Uh, I don't- Whoa! I did not realize I was carrying this around! This is worth so much money! This solves a lot of my problems! Hey, money solves a lot of problems in this game. Uh, okay, well I'm definitely gonna go sell that. Um, navigation data... Da, da, da. Okay. I don't really need to have this on me. I don't- Again, I, I have a lot of that and I'm not totally sure what it's for. Um, okay. Dihydrogen I probably don't need on me at all times. Okay, this is good. This is good and right. All right, cool. You paint during your free time. Yeah, I do. Um, I also do digital art. Maybe I should do a stream of that or something. No idea how I'll set that up. Uh, let's see. Cadmium in a red star system. I suppose that makes sense. I uh, don't remember where it sits in the table. If, they, if there's anything we need more of, it's a storage container. Gotta store more stuff. A time to Marie Kondo that inventory. I do. Um, here's the problem with trying to Marie Kondo the inventory in this game. Most of it I'm keeping because I don't know what it does. And things that I don't know what they do don't spark joy. So I think I would very quickly end up, um, you know, getting rid of everything essential for future quests. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. So we're gonna send my kind of like crappy freighter. Uh, hey, uh, uh, either Juan, Juan Her JG or J J what John, J I'm, I'm not sure. Correct me, please. Correct me, please. Tell me how to say your, uh, your, your username. Um, huh. The other one's a one star freighter, though. I prob or, or frigate. I probably and it's a mining vessel. I probably should have 
sent the Normandy on a two star at least. Okay, maybe I can like upgrade it. Oh, how do I do this? Negotiation. An analyzer, mining crews. Oh, can I build that mineral compressor? How do I build this? Is it one of these terminals? How do I like, is that probably just, I guess probably an inventory, like every other single thing in this game, huh? What does this do? Capture nanode. Most games I keep all vendor trash in case they become uh, regents for some crafting system that hasn't been introduced yet. The upgrades are things that need to be crafted, but oh, I don't have the recipe for it. Is it okay if I send this freighter out? A one-star freighter on a two-star mission. I'm, I'm very nervous about doing this, but I suppose there's not, the stakes aren't like that high, really. One side of this bridge terminal has a, oh, really? Hold on a second, I haven't even looked at that. Oh, is it the upgrade and customize? It's probably that one, huh? Let's see, purchase upgrades. Oh, oh. I don't remember ever being in here. Oh, this is what the salvaged frigate mo modules are for. Um, okay, 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 got it. Um, oh, I mean, maybe I should do that. Okay, I really need cadmium. Um, oh, I can recolor. Let's see, how much does this cost? We don't know yet. Oh, okay. Gold and hydraulic wiring. I think I saw some hydraulic wiring for sale back at the space station. Although, can I make that? I don't think that's something I can make yet. Yet. <laughs> um, okay, I'll look and see if they have one for sale. Unlocked a new recipe. I, oh, I said it well. I said it well. Awesome, awesome. Was it the first one? One? I'm gonna assume that's the case. If not, correct me. Uh, cadmium can be multiplied like all elements. What? What is this alchemy you speak of? For centuries, man has tried to make cadmium out of other things. <laughs> the most precious element. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's do this. All right, what kind of planets we got here? What do we got? We got a reeking planet. We got an isotropic planet. We have Whatever this thing is. Is, is, that, is that an asteroid? Oh, yep, that's just a, a very big asteroid. <laughs> um, we got this. What is this planet here? Oh, my scanner's still recharging. An icebound planet? What are frost crystals for? I feel like they keep being frost crystals. Every single element has expansion, which is inaccurate. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can do the alchemy of turning, what is it, like hydrogen into, or oxygen into carbon, is that it? All right, oh, Apollo's contact is in here? That's a little weird. That's a little weird. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's, this is just the space station. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Frost crystals are mostly used in crafting windows for base building. I want windows. Hey, 
maybe I should go get some for the future. See, this is why I have no, this is why I have no inventory space, because I'm constantly in a state of, like, I'm just gonna go hoard stuff that is, like, for a future thing that I'm not even doing right now. It's a problem. I have a problem. But the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Woohoo! Yes, 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 yes. No, I want this one. Because I just want... Ooh, are these getting more expensive, or is it just more expensive on the system? I thought the... that one was normally 10,000. Um... Let me see if there's anything cool. No, you know what? I'm gonna hold out because... well, let me see. Maybe there's something cool. Um, Exocraft... Gosh, I want a Minotaur so badly. I need like two more, two more uh, blueprints. I should probably just go find those. Uh, let's see, an Autillion Cannon, Humboldt Drive. No, I don't need that. I don't need any of that. Build a base there just for the Frost Crystals. Oh, are Frost Crystals like that exciting? Like go build a base level exciting? conceptual angle atomizer. This is like a little like a little pistol. Like a, like a little pistol. I like how the main thing in, in this game really is just like try and get more space. Please try and get more space. Oh, hey. I feel like I'm I wasn't supposed to go back here. Oh, I was contracted to aid you in this in every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for long ago. It's all quite above board. Oh, a pheromone infests my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone. This geck cradling their fallen brethren of a bargain made many years from now. A contract signed across the cosmos. Ooh, that's trippy. Let's see, the Overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. Um, okay. I guess I need a construction terminal after that, like, very, like, epic thing that just happened. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Secret Keeper. Data has been obtained, exchanged, utilized. New tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Um, what thing do I have the least of right now? You won't be able to... Uh... Ooh, ooh. I just got a ton of data. Um, return to your base. I mean, I, I technically do have a base. I technically do have a base. That one that I built, do I, do I just go back there? That's what's his cover letter <laughs> he said to you. Uh, there's very little that it's worth multiplying resources for. With Frost Crystal, you might as well just plant a bunch of them and harvest them when you want. Okay, I need to find out how to farm. This is my new thing. I really need to figure out how to farm. Um, ooh, I can buy encrypted user decrypted user data rather it comes decrypted de comes decrypted uh let's see don't need that don't need that don't need that don't need that i don't know what star silk is but it sounds very cool okay let's get rid of that one thing i have if i can um Oh, do I have to go to the scrap person to sell that one thing that I realize is worth a ton of money? I bet I do. Let's see. Uh, I don't really want to sell any of this, actually. Except... Like, how do I offload um, the compressed, er, compressed Indian scraps? How do I get rid of those? A trade... This is a trade terminal. It's not letting me... Oh, wait, it's right here. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm, like, not even seeing things. Um, yep, we're gonna do that. Uh, whoops, we're gonna do that for... 
Yeah, that'll do. That will do. I almost just sold a random carbon on top of that. Here, take a carbon. Uh, actually, hoarding makes life harder, not easier. There's lots to do. You should find out what you like to do most, and then you can hoard the things that help you in that direction rather than hoarding everything. Degenerate, that sounds like an extremely reasonable stance to take um, that I should probably listen to. It's just so hard to not be like, but I'll need this for later. You know what it is, and like Maizai was saying too, like, you know, always hoarding stuff. I think playing a lot of JRPGs like really messes you up in this way. <laughs> it makes you really want to hoard everything. I have billions of units and nothing to spend them on. Woohoo! I know, I feel so... I feel so fancy. I feel so free. I feel so good. That I can sing a song. Wow, everyone. Me and the boys, <laughs> all leaving at once. Okay. Let's go over here now. Man, I feel good. Man, I feel good about that. Um, oh, it's just guiding me to the portal. I guess I'll go back to the one and only base I have, <laughs> which is not like particularly exciting as a base, but uh. Ooh, yes, teach me words. I do not know enough Corvax words. And I've never found a Corvax casing. Hey, Merciless. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, right. I'm gonna make it rain. I'm gonna make it rain every day. All right, going to my base. My one and only base. Progress through the game, I reserve certain containers for collecting specific kinds of things, and then when I stop caring about a certain thing, I empty that specific container to make room for something else. See, that's what I would do. That's what I would hope I would do uh, in, in many crafting games. It's like, right, I like have the chest for this thing, the chest for that thing. But I think it's because the quick transfer um, you know, you can't specify what numbered inventory you want to send it to. It's like all becoming a, a huge mishmash. It's always a hot mess. I think mine is going to continue to be one. Um, oh, it really want. Oh, I'm going to have to actually build like a base base now. Um, I don't think this is the planet I want to build my base on. I don't think this is actually the one for me. I gotta find like a really good place if I'm gonna start base building. Like just a really cool. Unless it'll let me do that on my freighter. No, I feel like I can't try to cheese it because, I don't know. If you if you interact with NPCs three times or so, they sometimes give you blueprints. Oh, I didn't know that. Used to collect valuable artifacts. I'd still be collecting them if they had in-game models and not just inventory icons. Um, let's see, actually, what we have here. Um, how many blueprints do I have? Salvaged, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the anomaly. I am going to go back to the anomaly, if I can. Yeah, that, that seems like a great place for it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the anomaly. Uh, what am I looking for in a planet? That's a very, I feel like there should be like a dating app, that, but it's for like matching, uh, matching travelers with their ideal planets. What am I looking for in a planet? I, I want to not have a bunch of sentinels that are trying to kill me. That sounds glib, but that's literally what I'm looking for in a planet, is I, I want to be able to chill without a bunch of sentinels. I'd prefer if the environment also wasn't trying to kill me all the time. Uh, and if it has like a cool resource and cool animals, that's what I'm looking for. Isn't that what we all want for our families? <laughs> to have nice planets to live on. Annoy the NPCs until you give they give you blueprints. Yeah, I didn't know that this was the strategy. Oh my gosh, all these offers of perfect planets. What, what's perfect? Give me the pitch. What's perfect about this planet? Oh, 
Also, I don't remember how multiplayer setup works because I've only played with people that I've played with before and I don't remember how the initial setup works. Do we have to add each other as like friends? So we'll be in the same instance, is that how it works? And then join on multiplayer. Um, let's see, teleport receiver, conflict scanner. I already have all this stuff. Oh, 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 I forgot why I came here. I know why I'm here. I know what I want. I have a singular goal now. I know what matters. Where's the Exocraft research? Is it one of these? Yes, this one. This one. This one? This one. Three star economy, no conflict, paradise, and hippo butterflies. The planet I started on has sentinels and they are sparse. A defenseless planet with beautiful landscapes and vegetation, lots of resources that can be easily plundered. Just chillin', just chillin'. Um, not plundering, just chilling. Uh, paradise planets have better weather, but can still have sentinels. Anomalous planets almost always have good weather. Okay, good to know. Yeah, good weather is good. Let's see. Let us see how this goes. Wait, this isn't the thing I wanted. Oh, I know what I need. I was wrong. I know what I need. Uh, I think it's actually a construction research. Is this right? Oh, this is how, this is where the nutrient processor comes from. Um, oh, I could actually get that. And Oh, there's faster refiners. I didn't even know that. Um, we're going to get this. This is what I want. This is what I want right here. Wait, what is this? Oh, race initiator. Yes. Then I just need to get some gold. Um, and then I think I'm gonna also get, let's see, what was the thing I actually needed for like the quest? It was one of these things. Oh, is this how I grow stuff? Just getting into some hydroponics. Um, man, there is a crazy amount of stuff. Um, oh my gosh, I can build more storage. Oh, is that storage on my base? I think that's storage on my base. Um, okay, what was the thing I actually needed for the story? It was, oh, I want this too. I need, okay, how can I get a ton of salvage data? Is there like an easy way to do it or do I just kind of have to like grind for it on planets? Um, let's see. Refiner. Hmm. Do I want the trade terminal, which is going to be really useful, or do I want the nutrient processor? Hmm. <laughs> Systems with red stars often have cool pets, and I also need cad cadmium. Cadmium. Uh, just search for salvage data on planets. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, Mizai. I don't know about that read. I think I'm gonna be happier overall with a galactic trade terminal because I can put that on my freighter, right? I think I'm gonna be a happier person with that. <laughs> um, let's see. I literally, oh, I literally just saw, saw one, uh, the terminal. As, at, right after I purchased that. So now I, now I feel validated in doing that. Um, let's see, expand into, I don't know if I want stat, like, I don't know, man. Didn't I already talk to Nada after this? I'm pretty sure I already talked to her, or them. I don't know why I always think of Nada as a Lady Corvax. I think it's the name. Yeah, I have. See, I already talked to you. But it was all Pornada. It didn't advance my quest at all. Okay, let's go. Let's leave this place. Uh, let's see, the tip I can give you about salvage data is piggyback to it to something else like exploring or learning words from scattered alien stones on planets. Feels less tedious and you're more efficient this way. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, planets with water and huge islands will force things like salvage data to spawn closer in high numbers. Ooh, I did not know that. Water and large islands. 
Oh, because it's not going to spawn in the water, so it all spawns on the land. That makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just kind of like, where is going to have... What does a red star look like? I assume it's a red one. Corvax don't have the same concept of gender in their species, so you can call them whatever you want. Yeah, I think all the Corvax are referred to as them, but individual Corvax, I actually am gendering for some reason in my mind, like the individual characters. Let's see. Space station. I don't need to go to the space station here. Um, go back to my planet, Kush. Oh, right. This is the system where I, like, discovered everything. That was cool. Um, let's see. I mean, I need to find that red element. Get that good red stuff. Um, but I don't think any of these have it. And all of these planets are not, like, places that I would want to live on. So let's just leave. Let's get away from the planet a little bit and then leave. Store things in freighter, store things on bases. Yeah, that's true, Parker. And you know, English isn't like the most egregious example <laughs> of that, so. Let's see. Let's go in here, let's go in here. We good. We good. I mean, English has a lot of other really, really wonky things. All, all of you out there that are uh, watching that are not native English speakers that are chatting and watching, good on you. English is, has so many wonky things and so many irregularities um, that I don't envy having to learn it as a, a non-first language. So you're doing great, people. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and put that terminal here. Yeah, 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 romance languages. Have that. Then you gotta know how to conjugate stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is like the business side. <laughs> this is the business side of, uh, my freighter space. We have the teleport, we have this thing. Ooh, that I can just build straight up, heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. I am so happy. I don't even have to go to the space station. Well, I still do to get some stuff, but uh, ooh, welding soap. A decommissioned circuit board. Uh, what else? Pyrite. Ammonia, I've still never used. Um, all right, cool. Man, this feels really good. Let's see. Yes, things are getting quite ontological. That, that's also not an atypical thing uh, here. <laughs> here in the sweater verse. Have you learned any foreign languages? Yeah, um, I learned Japanese uh, when I was in college, which, like, I always think is kind of faded out, but then... Uh, whenever I have to use it comes back better than I would think so. Um, I learned Spanish when I was younger, but that has really, <laughs> that one has really fallen off, I have to be honest. I wish it hadn't, uh, but isn't that what we all say about our, our other languages, except for people that actually retain them, <laughs> aka non-Americans. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Conjugation is the most difficult part of language, of, of romance languages. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, oh, I could have mounted this to a wall. Well, now it, now, now it looks silly to me. Um, okay, let's see. It doesn't, whoop, nope, 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 nope. That's the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. That is so, so not what I meant to do. That is so not what I meant to do. Um, oh man, this, I, I don't know how in like one 
keystroke I managed to do that although actually wait I didn't realize I could or I forgot that I could move stuff so I'm not gonna put this guy here if it'll let me ah uh, no I kind of like the idea of just having command room central but that's okay um well it's good to know how modular everything is that I can just kind of like build and rebuild things pretty easily uh oh I didn't get my carbon nanotubes back um okay that's fine that is fine um let's see if we can put this on the wall hey you know what i'm realizing is i can't build the uh minotaur thing that i just bought why can't i build that Do I need to have some... Th I, I can't build any Exocraft stuff on my freighter, and I don't know why. Um, okay. I feel like I need something else to, like, be here first. Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks way better on the wall. Um, okay, and then we're going to do this. Yeah, that looks way better. French is easy when you're French. Maizai, teach us one French word per stream, please. Um... Just kidding, because then I'd have to try to pronounce them, and it would be very bad for me. Um, okay, let's see. We'll put that there. Man, I wish this could go on a wall, too. I mean, that doesn't really even make sense, but... Oh, did I just move my thing somewhere? Did I, like, manage... It's saying I still have one on the base. Did anyone see where I put my teleport... <laughs> How do I manage these things, people? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going crazy. How did I manage to do this? Um, Exocrafts cannot, I thought they, uh, but I want to just have it be on my freighter. It would be so much more convenient to my life if it could just live on my freighter and then I could just summon it. Because otherwise I have to carry so much crap around for it. Um, but that's okay, because I did, I think, get the... Um, yeah, get the... What do you call it? Oh, I can't even look at Exocraft unless I have the stuff for it. Um, okay, let's go to another system. I'm bored with this system. Let's go to another system. Took 10 million, but I found... 10 minutes, but I found a paradise planet in a three-star economy system with no conflict. How did you do that? How did you do that, though? Like, how did you find that? What should I be looking for? I want to know, like, how to find it. What is this thing? That looks crazy. Um... Oh, is this, like, a red star system? Whoops, I, I meant to look at it, but I guess we're going there. Jump system to system. I feel like, how come, how come when other people go system to system to find stuff, they find, like, cool things? And when I go system to system, I end up with that one system that had, like, what was it? A blood planet, a bone planet, and, uh, something else that was just, like, crazy. I mean, actually, that sounds pretty metal. As I'm saying it, it sounds cool. Um... But at the time, it wasn't cool, because that was super not what I needed. The label tells how much conflict there is and how much economy there is, and then you go there and find a paradise one. Uh, but I just want one. But I w also want to, like... I want to find it. Or I want to know how... I, I want to know how... I want to know how you people know things. This is a planetary anomaly. Do we like anomalies? Oh, that has aggressive sentinels. Why is this music being so weird? I get paranoid when the music changes in this game. Just the summoning station for Exocraft can be built on freighters. It's a room that looks like a flea command one. Oh! One eye, one shot brings up, okay. The summoning station. Yeah, so how do I do that? Yeah, I don't I don't want the I don't want the vehicle on my station. I just want the summoning. Oh, so the summoning station is a separate kind of room. I can't just build the base. It has to be its own room. Okay, so I need more. I need to figure out where do I buy so where do I buy freighter parts that aren't like base parts that are actually specifically to go on my freighter? Like where do I purchase that? Um let's see. Uh Frank 
GC, Frank GC, Frank GC. Let me know how to say that. Um, welcome. Hello to you as well. Uh, let's see. If you have the right outlook on life, you can find something cool almost anywhere. <laughs> um, you know, the teleport summoning room. Okay. The teleport is where the standalone terminal used to be. The room got deleted for the exocraft. You can build them anywhere and get the summoning room on the freighter. Okay, okay. Buy with Oh, you buy it with friggin' modules. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I'll go back and look for the terminal where the standalone terminal... Teleport is where the standalone terminal used to be. Okay. Okay. We got this. We got this, kind of. Um, okay, let's see what kind of cool planets there are here. I'll try to have a better attitude toward these planets. This is a frothing planet. Okay. We've got... Oh, this is the one I looked at earlier. This is the Planetary Anomaly, bruh. Um, I mean, I guess I could just start going... I should probably just go try to find some blueprints or something. I think that's probably my actual goal right now. Or find, like, a really cool system. Attacking other... You buy the frigate models, attacking other freighters are doing abandoned freighters. Maybe I should just start... You know, I have all that planetary data that I bought. Um, maybe I should just go try... Maybe I should just go use those maps, because I bought so many of them. And that can be my new thing. A planet I found looks like New Zealand. <laughs> Are you building a base there for doodling? Whenever, whenever I next stream, uh, we'll do some multiplayer. We'll coordinate on Discord, how about? If people want to do some multiplayer. Um, which will probably, probably be tomorrow or New Year's Day, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Wait, I don't need this. Uh, frothing planets have bubbles. Wait a second. Really? Wait, 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 wait. I thought frothing meant like it was like hot. I have to see this. I just, I, I, just, I literally just want to go look at the frothing planet now. No, yeah, juice was in my immediate needs. Anyone else water down their juice? I don't really drink juice per se. Um... But I guess it would depend on the kind of juice. Okay, I want to see these bubbles. I was promised bubbles, people. This looks more like a desert than a... Oh, there are... <gasps> I didn't realize... You... <laughs> okay, this was so worth it. This was, like, comically worth it for me. I am so happy right now. Oh, my gosh. I didn't... When you said bubbles, this is somehow not what I thought. This is somehow not what I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, the planet with bubbles is very nice. <laughs> like the ones that have color anomalies. Oh, is that, like, the anomalous planet that is also in this system? Okay, maybe this is kind of a cool system, actually fluorescent plants. Maybe this is my planet. Yeah, there's bubbles. <gasps> you can pick them up. Yeah, this might be my base. I Maybe I don't want the, the everybody else's perfect planet. Maybe I just want to live in this beautiful bubbling landscape. Oh my gosh. I'm like feeling this pretty hard. I, uh... I didn't know. Look at these rainbows and bubbles! <laughs> First contact with a bubble planet. This is like a top thing right now. Um, specific clusters of bubbles that you can pick up. I have a bubble planet that's purple. I call it Paisley Park because of Prince. I think I'm going to build a base. I mean, I'm sure the rainbow will is based on atmospheric positions. Or conditions, uh, conditions and positions probably, so it won't always be here. But look at how people, I just, I need you all, I need everyone to just like have a moment with me. This is New Year's Eve Eve, and I want you to reflect on your year 
I want you to think about your hopes for the better for the next year. Perhaps you want it to be a better year. Perhaps you had a great year this year. I want you to just look at the bubbles and the double rainbow that is caused right now by the rings of the planet in the rainbow. <laughs> I'm gonna build a base here, if I can, if I even have the parts with me to do that. Um, yep, I do. Oh, chromatic metal. This is why I have so much of it, because it's for building bases. Um, people, this is beautiful. This is my planet now. Well, the top thing here is the planet's rings, but there's also just like a really chill rainbow like underneath of the planet rings. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get them. Uh, oh, it's, it might have been hard to see with like the way uh, I'm covering it, but there's like a a double rainbow situation <laughs> of like the rings looking like a rainbow and then an actual like uh, a rainbow here also. Wolf profile on the planet dating app, bubble planets only. Only interested in bubble planets. Yes, Aaron, bubbles and rainbows. Uh, storms that not, yeah, I hope there's no damaging storms. I actually don't see any creatures. Uh, shoot, that was one of my things I wanted was uh, for there to be pets. And I don't know if there's any pets. I don't think there's necessarily any actual, like, what you would call valuable resources here. Um, but look at the bubbles, people. Anomalous planets, hexagonal planets, whoa. Yeah, I didn't realize. I was, I was like, talking about it. Uh, and you're probably all like, what is she talking about? Because I think I was covering it. But yeah, it's the beautiful bubble rainbow that was ephemeral, but... You know, I, I took that as a sign, you know, once the rainbow fades, the sign is still here that, um, oh, I mean, even the like materials look like bubbles still. If you hit escape, the first tab says what, how many animals there are. Um, there's one animal on this planet. That's a lot of pressure um, on that one animal. It looks like this. Let's see, poison, there are poison cyclones. Um, but you know, other than that, not much to scan, but you know what? It's beautiful. This is a beautiful bubble planet. There's sweet root. I'm just trying to figure out which ones you can actually pick up. Gosh, this is a top, this is a top tier game, people. How many games do you get bubble planets in? I wanna like go into the bubble. Can I go into it? Oh, did I pop it? Do you pop them if you go into them? Nope, you just kind of intersect with them. Okay, which ones can I pick up? Okay. Yeah, sweet root. We got some things here. I know I wanted to be. I, I, it needs to be a bubble-looking animal. Uh, JRPG planets are toroidal <laughs> instead of spherical. That is true. Um, let's see. The animals are probably the leaking globes. Yeah, there is no collision with the bubbles. The bubble that drops blood. No. <laughs> It drops bubble juice only, but that's okay because I'm not. I'm, I would never kill these bubble creatures. Actually, I shouldn't say that because now I just had a flash forward where, like, in a few minutes, I'm like, "Oh, bubble cluster! That's what we want." Do you need hydrogen? Because boy, oh boy, do we have some hydrogen here. Look through the scanner. They have question marks, and they'll be slightly different in color. Okay. Are there other gold deposit? I don't see any creatures here. Gold deposit. Oh, this is the bubble cluster. Yes. Actually, do I have enough stuff to make? The Minotaur? No, I need gold, and I don't have any gold. Oh, wait, but there's a gold deposit right here. And by right here, I mean kind of far. Let's see. Didn't I see another one? Am I making that up? 
Oh, hey, this is the thing I need too. I mean, it seems pretty okay to just like run around this planet because there's no sentinels and nothing's trying to kill me. I've been told there are, what was it, like toxic tornadoes or something, but uh, you know, I haven't seen any yet. Like how I went from like, I want a perfect paradise planet to like, I care about nothing but bubbles. <laughs> I mean, there's an anomalous planet in this uh, system too. I'm gonna go to that next. Now I'm just, what did I say? What did I say I care about in this game? Just weird, weird stuff. Ooh, 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 wait, there's a creature. What's it gonna be? Oh, <gasps> it is just a bubble. <laughs> dripping blood I thought you were joking oh no oh no oh no wait this is the only thing that lives here and it's horrifying don't know hey love this planet don't know if I love that though don't know if I love that is the one creature here <laughs> Um, yes, Merciless, it is a nice, it is a nice planet, but I'm very perturbed by the one animal here. Free Coca-Cola. That, you know what, that's not what I'm thinking of. It's, it's just cola. It's not blood. It's just cola. It's fine. It's a wholesome planet. Yes, Maizai, a wholesome planet. Take it like pet. Oh, maybe I will, actually. I probably, I, you know what? Oh, look, it looks kind of rainbowy. Who am I to judge, you know? Who am I to judge this rainbow balloon creature that is dripping constantly? Extract berries? Oh no, I can't get any more companion. Shoot. That's okay, I'll take its berries. You don't get milk from it, but you do get hexaberries. I really need that recipe thing. Okay. Carnivorous bubbles. <laughs> this isn't even the weirdest creature you'll encounter in the game. Oh, I'm gonna summon my bear. Some of you haven't seen my dancing bear. I don't know if it's as exciting as to anyone else as it is to me, but he's very exciting to me. Hey, buddy. I think I just like the riding so much. Like the riding animation is so funny to me. <gasps> yeah. Oh, although he's actually very slow. But I think my favorite thing is just, look at the dancing. How can you be mad at that? This is just literally just a dancing bear. Like the way this character is animated is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. Yes, scaly bear, live your life. Feel peaceful and love. Look at how wholesome I, I make every game wholesome. Did, have you ever seen a planet full of pink bubbles and dancing bears until you started watching my stream people? I don't know what sweet root is, but I feel like I need it. Rainbow balloons. You know how to make it bigger. I, do I know how to make what bigger? Free cola dancing bear. Yeah, I, I'm really like having a weird thing in the economy of the, or the, the ecosystem of this planet now. Um, let's see, another kind of planet has creatures that are just holes in the ground emitting light. But the light is not the creature, the hole is. That's what I want to hear. Uh oh, although I'm gonna start doing some mining, so I might have to put him away, because I gotta be real. None of the animals in this game have much self preservation instinct, and they will just get right in front of your uh, mining beams. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that, because, buddy, you are just gonna run. Oh, wait, I can customize the appearance? Oh my goodness, I can make him like a little, uh, what do you call those things? St. Bernard's. I kind of want him to have a little backpack. Let's see, we've got kind of like a green and a copper going on here. Um, oh, but with that orange, maybe like a complimentary scheme there. That's, that's a few too many colors going on, but that's okay. Oh, I, I was gonna put him away. I literally 
talk to him to despawn him, and then I just ended up putting a backpack on him. Because that's how I play every game. Uh, the bear's name, I actually haven't renamed the bear. The bear has his default name, which is uh, Uniel Uniel. But yeah, what's a, what's a better name for a dancing bear? The hex plate planets have creatures that are just trails of hopping plates. I'm pretty sure the plates are not the creature, but the abstract action of the plates hopping are the creatures. That's the best thing I've ever heard. That's, see, that's like what's so great about this game. Hey, Lance2609, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, we should have the option. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the mounting bracket. I was going to try and make a color scheme that went with the creature, but then the mounting bracket has a default color already. Ted. Actually, Ted's a pretty cute name. This is a proto geck. <laughs> I think the proto geck is maybe that like turtle I saw earlier. This is the proto, uh, proto heretofore undiscovered bear race. Gosh, I was really, uh, really hoping I could find some of this element, and now I have an outrageous amount of it. Like, is this enough for what I needed? How many do I have now? 520. I mean, that seems sufficient, but... Here, so I was just, I was like just setting up the base here because I like that there's bubbles. Um, but actually this is like gonna be more useful than I thought it was, I think, because uh, this is not an element I ever have excess of. And now I need some gold. Now I need some gold. Now I need some gold. Yeah, so you just run around and dance, scout ahead. I wish they dripped any color but red. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better about it if it was any color but red. Oh wait, this is not a gold deposit. I'm just destroying the natural, uh, natural landscape for no reason. Never have enough sodium. Never. All right, so let's try and find some, hey, just chilling on a planet for a little bit and not running around like crazy all the time is pretty fun. Who knew, not me. I did not know that. Um, okay. Where did that gold deposit go? Did I lose it already? Oh, right. Oh, it's kind of far actually. That's fine. You know, because when there's no sentinels, chasing you around and nothing trying to kill you. It's uh, it's very chill to just kind of like run around with your bear, you know? Keep in mind, even these abstract creatures can be predator. I've been attacked by light emitting holes on the ground on multiple occasions. I think I've only been attacked by one creature. Yeah, have you ever seen one of these bubble planets that you had boy? I had no idea there was such a thing. I guess I could build like the uh, build and exit craft for this, but I don't know. This is so pleasant. This is honestly so chill right now. <laughs> now in another, <laughs> you're now in a double, another, another bubble, another bubble planet. I mean, I might as well scan everything, huh? Nope. Don't get distracted by other deposits. What? What was the thing I hadn't? I just saw something I hadn't scanned yet. There we go. Yes, run, run, my friend, run! As the stars shoot above us in the sky. How do I, how do I manage this in like every game I play? I somehow turn it into like whatever this is right now. Oh my gosh, where did that gold deposit go? Did I untag it somehow? 
Or is it just like, I think it might just be like over a hill and I can't see it. You can walk onto your pet faster. Oh, th this pet is very slow. I've tried, uh, I've tried riding on, on my bear and boy oh boy, <laughs> it is much slower than what I can do. Um, oh, I was like, I don't know if I should go down there because I don't know if he can get down there, but he's, he's fine, man. Whee! Dios 89 thank you very much for that follow um yeah sure eight headed boy if you would like to do that I probably I keep wanting to say I'm not going to be on that much longer um but I, I am still going to go to that uh uh what do you call it that other planet after this Just one more, one more planet, one more planet. The anonymous planet, anonymous planet. I feel like any way I say it, it doesn't sound right. Anomaly, anomalous, anomalous? That sounds right, anomalous planet. <laughs> Words are hard. That's the recurring theme here. Let's see. Let me get rid of that. Yep, yep, all my gold, all my gold here. Baby. The fastest one is the giant flying bug. I don't have one of those, but I feel like I need one. Gosh, I just wish you weren't dripping, buddy. But you know what? Who am I to come to this planet and judge the fauna for, for dripping and making that noise? Let's listen. Ooh. Ooh, that's a noise, okay. Um, hey, but you know what? How am I gonna get out of this valley? I didn't think this one through. Heck yeah! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy! My first Minotaur! This is a beautiful moment for me. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get rid of it. So I can get my stuff back. And then go out of edit mode. Hey, Caliber 99 welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for the follow. Uh, I have one glyph. I have literally one glyph. One more planet two hours later, me and No Man's Sky every time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, wow, uh, <laughs> Amadeus 89 wishing you the best as well. Uh, yeah, the noises in this stage are just awful. They're awful noises. Um, but yeah, I have one glyph, let's see. Um, let's see. Wow, I totally missed all of this. Wow, well, thank you so much. Uh, I hope that you are having an excellent uh, start of end of this year and start of the new year as well. Thank you very much um, for all those compliments. Yeah, who's the big boy now? Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm worried I'm projecting too much because I'm like sitting a few inches from a microphone and then um, just being very loud. I'm, I'm actually quite quite a loud speaker. So how, how are the jetpacks on this thing? Whoop. I don't think they're going to be... Shoot, I shouldn't have built this at the bottom of the valley because I actually don't think I can get out of this valley now. <laughs> Just a mech walking through bubbles endlessly. Not sure if you find a stargate, you can use that glyph to reach the center of the galaxy. Oh, okay. Well, I have, so that was the one other base I had is I found a stargate, I powered it up, and then it's like, hey, you need some glyphs. And I was like, I super don't have those. So can this thing move any faster or, uh, nah. I mean, it looks very big and cool. Um, it's just, man, oh man, is this gonna be a long walk to get anywhere? Take me to a bug planet. Um, I real, I'm just gonna go to the anomalous. Thank you for that offer. I'm just gonna go to the anom anomalous planet. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get this cadmium and then I'm gonna go to the anomalous planet. All right, let's jump out of here. Just repeat that one glyph you'll be sent. Oh, really? Wait, Parker, I can just go enter that one glyph? I thought I had to collect every single glyph. Now I feel silly. I don't know, everybody's talking up how great the uh, the galactic core is, but I, does, do they have bubble planets? I'm just gonna get more of this just cause I don't have any. I need to name this base something descriptive, but that's okay. That's okay. Test for singing or anchor job. No, I have not, but uh, thank you very much. You know, I actually had, I don't think I ever talked about this on stream, I actually had kind of a complex about my voice when I was younger. Um, just because it's like a little deeper than I thought it should be. Like, especially, you know, when you're young, you're insecure about everything all the time. It's okay, we were we were all there once or, or we're all still working on it, you know. <laughs> Let's see, here we go. But that's again, why we, uh, this is why we, are embracing the sweater wolf theme of 2022. <laughs> but like yourself, 2022. I feel like I said something a lot catchier last time. Uh, I'm just gonna go to this planet. It's so, so is the planetary anomaly an anomalous planet? Is that what we're all talking about? Don't love these aggressive sentinels, but we'll head over there and see what's going on. Galactic core is not remarkable. Well, I don't know. Everybody's saying there's cooler stuff toward the center of the galaxy need more than that so the bu are the buck planets i remember at one point there were like flying beetles introduced is that the thing that was introduced i feel like that was it what is going on here Is this something I can land on? Is this, what is, what am I looking at here? Is it just like all mist or gas or something? What is this rain? Is this like acid rain right now? What is happening right now? Planets with activated metals usually have storms. What is this right now? Is this just like a burning fire rain planet? Huh. Make the flying beetle huge is the fastest one. How do you make the animals bigger? I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. You just feed them. <laughs> they like real pets, you just feed them a lot. Like, what is this planet? Whoops. Pfft. Just a little bounce, just a little tap, just a little love tap. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ah. Uh... Okay. I, I was, I'm, I'm a little, like, I kind of thought there would be truly crazy stuff going, well, actually, this is pretty weird. But, um, I don't know. I kind of thought it would be a little more. Actually, wait, I see there's a landing here. Oh, I was just in the a weird part that didn't have any land. That was my problem. Okay. It's killing me that that mission objective won't go away because it's like I've totally, I've already brought news of the loss. Yeah, I went to the anomaly and I, I talked to Nada already, but I think there's something else I need to do to make it, uh, make that objective clear. Large ocean planet. Pets will lay eggs if you keep them long enough. You can take the egg to the egg sequencer on the space anomaly and genetically modify it. Oh, I didn't know that. 
I wonder, is this regular rain? No. What is this rain? It's like yellow. I don't know what's going on here. Whoops. All of a sudden, I can't remember how to scan. There we go. Okay, we got one of these guys. What on earth is that? Uh-oh, we know there's gonna be sentinels because there's gravitino balls. Once you have gravitino balls, it's all over. I don't know what's so anomalous about this planet. Nope, nope, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Is he still watching? Oh, he's right there. I mean, this is a weird planet for sure. <laughs> like that's like a sonic, it's like a sonic level on this planet. Uh, I don't know how exciting it is though, honestly. It's no, uh, a rings planet. Oh, you know what I should do is I should check and see. Maybe my, maybe my other pet has a, has a, an egg. Man, I had no idea that you could, uh, oh, here's what I wanted to do. This is why I needed that element. So I could fix this. I don't even know how I ended up damaging it so badly, but, um, sweet. Okay, I'm gonna get out so I can save. <laughs> get out in the storm and save. Yeah, the Hoop Mountains are pretty cool. Um, all right, people, I think I'm gonna hop off. Uh, I'm gonna call it for the night. Uh, but let's see, what things do I have to say first? Uh, if anybody has any suggested raid targets, let me know. Um, also, uh, get on. So those are some of you wanted to do multiplayer. Um, you're asking about the next stream. The best way to find out about all of that is on Discord. Um, so go ahead, join the Discord um, if you want to know when I'm streaming next or if you want to coordinate any kind of fun multiplayer stuff. Um, let's see. Da -da -da. <laughs> Who is somebody that we should go to next? Anybody have any, any, oh, Criss Cross Applesauce. Hey, is streaming right now. Okay, that's who we're gonna raid. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to um, Criss Cross Applesauce's, um, let's see, raid Criss Cross Applesauce. Yeah, I think I, I think I probably have that for an egg. Um, there we go. Um, but yes, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, Crisscross Applesauce has really talked up. Uh, Cyclone, Cyclone? Cy Cycolon. Cycolon 96, thank you so much for that follow. Uh, let's go ahead and raid because uh, we've heard a lot about the building abilities of Crisscross Applesauce. Let me make sure that's the right, oh my gosh, it's like so hard if you are trying to spell things. Uh, oh, there's only one P. I'm so bad at rating, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, let's hop over there, I wanna see some of this stuff. Uh, I wanna see some of this like fun rating, some of this like building. I think it's gonna be cool over there. Uh, build, building cool things in no man's sky. Um, all right, cool. Let us jump over there. Uh, peace out, friends. Thanks for hanging out. And we will bye, Rye, bye, all. Uh, we will see you very soon. And happy New Year's Eve to all.